Jeepers here, uh, just taking a quick look at CG Calendar. This is the latest version uh, that I'm running on um, what at present is the current stable version of CMS Made Simple, 2.2.8. Uh, so the module itself, uh, let's get that information for you. So for CG Calendar, this is 2.5.1. And just doing an overview of the admin side and all of the various options from the front end side as well in terms of what you can do with it and how it can be styled. So one of the first things that I want to cover is uh, within the settings for the calendar, um, and this is only if a user has the permissions to view and change these, the ability to add categories, set your own color coding for them, and that it information you're pretty wide open in terms of what you can do uh, you could put in a hex code or just uh, select from the uh, codes that are available here or the colors that are available there by default within the color picker uh, once we uh, hit that it just kicks us back to the actual calendar entries so i'm going to pop in and take a look at some of the other settings we also can add additional fields and what those fields are there's a text field so just a single line of text file upload, which could be an image or a document, um, a text area field. So uh, that could lend to a WYSIWYG editor, so larger box of text. Um, this is just uh, pulls in from another module, file attachment, image attachment, similar to the file upload field, um, a checkbox, a dropdown, and a dropdown from a, um, a custom supplied um, set of fields. So it might be based on other stuff that's in the database. And then getting into the settings, we can call it whatever we want on the back end and a few other controls that we have access to as well. Um, whether it's a 12 hour clock, uh, overlap policy for events and a few other things in terms of defining the uh, allowed file types and where they're stored, all that kind of thing. And then when we get into the admin side, so we have a couple of different ways that you can view it, uh, all depending on your preference. Um, by default, it kicks to a full calendar view, which scrolls forward. And this is actually the same calendar and script that is going to run on the front end as well. There's a year view. Um, my personal favorite, it depends on the nature of the organization and how many events they have in there. It might not be ideal for all cases. A quick filter. Um, for published or draft articles. Um, it does have an import and an export events. Um, you can actually, uh, a bulk control to delete uh, expired events, so things that are in the past, and a bit of a search function as well, um, where you can look for a particular event. And it would pull it up and then you can click on it to edit um, or view. So month view, we saw initially. A week view, which in some cases can come in quite handy. Again, for uh, much busier calendars, calendars and even a day view as well. From the front end, this is where it gets a little more interesting, um, in my opinion. So. Here we go, full calendar view, uh, the color coding's coming in. If somebody was to click on it, it takes them to a detailed view, which would spit out um, everything that you've entered in for it. Um, so if there's a detail summary and if you attach files, all that sort of thing. Uh, upcoming events. So this is just um, a rather expanded view and showing different options. So in terms of um, icons used for the buttons for read more, whether we're doing a full list um, and how much detail that we're showing with each of them. Similar, kick into the year list with pagination, month list, also with pagination, week list, day list, so on and so forth until we get to the next one, um, and then past events. So anything that has already happened within the year and how it's labeled, colored. 
there is the ability to do a calendar only search on the front end for people. So if somebody's looking for something specific, we can actually give them a search function that so they can search by different criteria. And provided, let me see if I have one here. So let me go back. So I just logged myself in so I can come in and take a look at any events that I maybe have added. Um, so there was a test one that I had added. So through the front end, we can actually create uh, a submission area as well um, and style that. So if you wanted to open it up to um, people with um, members with login codes, different users that can log in, and from there they'd be able to submit articles and we set within the settings that anything submitted through there is marked as a draft by default and it must be moderated by an admin on the back end. And then the admin can just pop in, take a look at what's in there and if there was something that was in draft mode, they can open them up and authorize them. So that's it, that kind of covers uh, pretty much everything you can do with the calendar, uh, with CG Calendar.